What's going on guys, Stack Presser here with Gamer Dads. Going to be giving you a quick tutorial as far as getting your game audio, your party audio, and even your own audio through Streamlabs OBS while playing on Xbox games basically only for the time being. Look for another tutorial in the future when it comes to retro games, but we're going to show you how you can do all that without needing a game capture card putting you around $190 in the hole. This is the budget friendly version of how to stream all audio when you're going live or streaming any gameplay. Let's get at it. Alright guys, here we go. So this is the video for uh, running Xbox games, in particular Xbox One games, capture, uh, stream, or record them live through your uh, PC, as well as capturing the audio, not just the gameplay footage, and I don't mean just party chat, I mean uh, just game chat, as well as uh, the game audio, and as well as your audio, alright? So first I got my Xbox open as such, okay, it's on, hooked up, hooked up, and it's connected wirelessly, or wired right now, you can do it wirelessly if your computer allows it, to my PC here, you'll see I already have the Xbox app opened, as well as Streamlabs OBS, which is free for download. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but in the meantime, the plugins that I have, again, I have no capture card, no Elgato HD 60S or whatever is out there right now. This is all I have. Two USB ports and a uh, head headset plugin, if you will, okay? And this is the equipment. I have one headset, which is the Ear Force X12s, Turtle Beach, and I have a CAD microphone. Originally, keep in mind, I just used the Ear Force X12s, okay? And uh, they were working fine, and these are the type of headphones that, you know, they have a long cord, which is nice uh, for mobility, especially like me. Um, but also, this headset comes with the USB port here. And then it also attaches with that green headset, but it also comes with the pink record uh, cable that you can also plug into your computer if if your computer allows it, of course. Um, this is what I had been doing, but my microphone is so sensitive. Maybe it's because of how old the uh, how old the uh, headset is that it was actually picking up the fan coming from my PC because I have an all-in-one PC. So it uses up a lot of CPU when I'm doing all this stuff, and so the fan is working overdrive. And uh, my buddies were getting a little bit irritated at that, so uh, I basically cut that out. Um, and luckily I had the microphone, the CAD microphone, lying around uh, because I do voice work as well. So I use that as my substitute, and it picks up much cleaner uh, and not as noisy. Alright, now getting right back into it. We're looking to make sure that your audio from the mic, especially if you're running Streamlabs OBS, your audio from the mic and the desktop, desktop meaning party chat, game chat, game audio, just in general, okay? And making sure it all coincides with each other and making sure that you also can hear both even when you're playing with your friends through the Xbox. So we're going to get right into that with a screen capture that I'm going to do for you. All right, here we go. Alrighty, so here we are. Now we are in screen capture mode on my whole entire PC. What you see is what you get with everything I've got laid out here. So we're going to jump right into it, starting with Streamlabs OBS on the left-hand side of the screen here. You're going to want to look down on the right-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner, where it's the mic auxiliary. And you can see when I'm talking, the VU meter is moving up and down. It recognizes that I do, in fact, have my external mic plugged in and uh, as mentioned earlier it is just this microphone as well as my x12 ear force turtle beaches that's all i have plugged into the computer i do not have a capture card at all okay so once you plug in your external microphone again keep in mind too the reason i'm not using my turtle beaches for the microphone is just because it's very sent i have a very sensitive mic uh, and it gets kind of irritating for my buddies who do play with me um so once you do have your microphone plugged in it should automatically find it and if it doesn't what you'll want to do is you'll want to go down to the settings tab on obs and go to properties and then when you do that 
you'll uh, select your device, okay? Mine is already set at default because this is all I'm going to need to really use here on out. Now, if when you do select your device, if you still do not see the audio popping up, then that's probably an issue with your settings within the computer, in which case you would go to the bottom right-hand corner of your taskbar, right-click, do recording devices, and then this guy will pop up right here and you'll see as I'm talking the VU meter there is going up and down make sure your external microphone that you are using to stream is the one um, set as the default device you'll also see I have the microphone uh, the third one down also is on that's the Turtle Beach one that it's picking up but as I just mentioned I don't use it because of its over sensitivity when I do have it in front of my face and such so when you have all that set just press OK and then you'll be able to uh, reselect and this will pop up correctly with your uh, recording device that you wanted okay um, pretty straightforward stuff with the webcam uh, if you have an integrated webcam within your PC uh, it, OBS will basically find it for you and then it'll stream like it is right now um, when it comes to actually getting um, the, uh, the game on OBS here with this black screen to get the Xbox app over here transfer to OBS you're gonna to want to add that source so you go to sources on OBS I do game capture so do game capture add source you can leave it like that for the name then I actually do capture specific window and then after doing capture specific window I find the Xbox app and I click that and then done Okay, and then when that happens, you'll see nothing has popped up yet. Okay, that's because we aren't streaming. You have to stream from your Xbox app in order for it to kick in to OBS Streamlabs. Okay, and now, and, and once you do that, you'll be able to capture uh, game chat, and you'll be able to capture uh, just the game audio in general, as well as your own audio, obviously coming from your microphone. So... Once you do all that, you'll be good to go. However, if you want to join a party or you think you're going to be in a party with a group of friends, then you're going to want to do that before you end up streaming. Because the kicker here that a lot of people mistake is that when, whatever you do through the Xbox app, you cannot undo or do through the console through your Xbox controller to the TV okay now what I mean by that is if I joined a party through the Xbox app and then let's say a friend got on later and I invited him through the console it'll automatically boot you out of the Xbox app live party and it'll start a brand new party which then messes up your stream because then your audio is lost and you may not even remember or realize it until it's too late and then you have to start it over and what have you especially if you're going live it's really embarrassing then because um, I've had that happen to me before so before you stream you want to make sure and figure out if you're going to actually be in a party with your friends or not okay um, to give you an example when you do join your party if you join a party or create a party and your friends come in and then you start the stream that's how you capture their audio as well okay and I'm going to give you an example here I have uh, a buddy of mine ortho epic couch he uh, has a party open right now so you click on the person who you know has a party or uh, that you want to invite to a party because you can do that as well but he has one and it's joinable so you click join party okay and then it'll probably take a couple seconds few seconds or so and then it'll kick you into the party with him and then once it does that you should be able to see that your desktop audio is then picking up what your party members are doing so as you can see I'm connecting into the party right now and then when I do I'll have him you know <laughs> say a few words just as proof so that you guys can hear what I'm hearing through Streamlabs okay yeah. so now I'm back here and we're in the we're in the party uh, couch can you say something for me I can say something for you well, look at that and there you go you'll see that when when couch talks the desktop audio 
on Streamlabs OBS, the VU meter ends up going up and down. Say something, say, say one more sentence for me, a little longer sentence, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. One more sentence for you, a little longer sentence. <laughs> Ain't he a choker? <laughs> All right, so then there you go. You see that he is actually, <laughs> when he talks, it pops up through there. Now you're able to connect your Xbox One. Well, obviously, you want to make sure you do that beforehand anyway, but now you're able to actually stream your Xbox One while still capturing your party's audio, as well as the game audio, as well as your own audio, and even game chat, believe it or not. So you'll come down to the connection tab right here on the Xbox app. And then you'll want to click stream. When you click stream, it'll open up in full view, and then you can minimize it or at least uh, shrink it up a little. Uh, it'll come up with a prompt that says there are no controllers attached to this PC. Just press continue because you're using your console if you're connecting through the app. So you can minimize that screen <coughs> oh, right here. And then when you do that, you'll be, you'll be good to go. Um, and then you will be able to actually record everything that you need to, whether it's the footage, whether it's the audio from any facet of what you're covering. And then just for kicks and giggles, you'll also notice on OBS when you do open up the Xbox app and you start streaming, it kicks on over into Streamlabs, and then you can actually mess with the uh, kind of aspect ratio of it to fit your editor layout as such and then you know you can get all fancy with it and drag the game capture behind um behind all the other prompts that are on the header and you know your webcam and such so it looks something like this okay again you're streaming you cannot do anything through your console such as leaving the party or basically um, ending the stream through your Xbox app as well will stop everything through OBS, which you don't want. So again, once you're streaming through the Xbox app, you have to keep it at that, because if you don't keep it at that, it's not going to work and it's going to look really kind of silly and a little embarrassing. Um, you'll notice that when I am moving through my console on the Xbox controller, going back and forth, toggling around, you can hear the effect, that swishing sound going back and forth, and you can see when I'm doing that, the desktop audio is still capturing that as well, meaning it is capturing game audio, and I think Couch is still with me, right? You're still here? I am still with you. Oh, look at that. So then you still got him as well, or whoever's in your uh, party. Another interesting feature that I came across accidentally was... Um, I think I was playing Call of Duty with Couch and others, where when we were then in a lobby, I could actually hear the game chat from other players who were not actually in our party. Now, they couldn't obviously hear me, but I could actually hear them, which was an interesting little feature uh, as well. So that is how you record all audio. That's your audio, that's game audio, that's game chat, and that's party chat as well without the use of a game capture card putting you like 185 190 bucks in the hole again all i'm using is my uh, my cad um microphone and my x12 ear force turtle beaches uh to for playback purposes other than that i don't need anything else and keep in mind again this is more for xbox games than anything else um, I plan on making another tutorial when it comes to retro gaming, such as, uh, you know, the NES and even as far back as the Atari 5200. Um, so until such time, look for that video. In the meantime, look for more streams from us gamer dads, such as myself and uh, Jayhus and uh, Couch and Randar77 and all the other guys. Uh, yeah, and that should pretty much wrap it up. Uh, Couch, yeah, you, you, you want to say goodbye to our uh, fellow people? <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Smash that like button. And be sure to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>